On today's episode, we dive into the world of Wolfenstein The New Order. And if you really want to see me take on the Ice Bucket Challenge, then you can see that at the end of the video. This is the Easter Egg Hunter. Welcome everyone to the home of finding sweet chocolate Easter eggs within our video games. Number one. The mission at hand during Chapter 3, A New World, follows Anya, her grandparents and yourself personally taking care of the situations while negotiating various and heavily guarded checkpoints. After conquering the eastern section, the next objective laid out for you requires raising the checkpoint platform that will allow Anya's grandparents' car to steadily progress to the next section. This will more than likely take you about five to six minutes, or if you're like me who likes to inspect everything, a lot longer. Just before completing the task, you can find what appears to be a workshop where on one side is a large truck that dominates the space and behind it a car is jacked up upon concrete blocks. If you manoeuvre around to the driver's side, hit X and hop in, you can activate one of the most random easter eggs in the game as now you can take the car for a spin or in this case we'll just imagine it. Number 2 Chapter 5 A New Home gives the player the opportunity to relax and unwind after all the intense battles that have already taken place, as now you can wander, search, discover and investigate your new surroundings at the Resistance headquarters. Meet old and new friends and discover many secrets. By heading to the first floor and to the right of the candle shrine towering in the hallway is a small narrow room containing crosses, an unmade bed and a bicycle and a record flashing at you every other second on the floor. The record, decorated in German, may not be obvious to some at first but the image may well trigger a reaction from you as this is the famous picture that features on the Beatles 1969 album Abbey Road. If you do happen to translate both lines of text, then you will discover that the top line reads The Beatles, and the second line translates to The Blue U-Boat, or in other words, The Blue Submarine, as opposed to The Beatles' original The Yellow Submarine. Number 3 Another easter egg that loiters at the headquarters, or more to the point stares at you straight in the face, features in the lower level known as the hangar, as at both ends of this large room stand two ginormous vault doors. On closer inspection you can see that on the central circular portion and rectangular panels possess the number 101, which is a direct reference to the vault 101 door that is used in Fallout 3, produced by the very creators of this title, Bethesda. Game Studios. Number 4 from very early on in the game, I personally had the feeling that a small, tiny presence that Ridley Scott's Alien franchise makes an appearance. This for me happened when I came into contact with the Panzerhund for the first time after crashing in front of the Death's Head Castle and again later on in Eisenwald Prison. It wasn't so much the mechanical elements nor the dog-like appearance that did it for me, but it was the metal encased teeth. The best example of this and what really put the icing on the cake was when I visited the tools room on the top floor of the headquarters, as by looking to the ceiling you can find a Panzerhund head looking down at you, and it just looks like one of Ridley Scott's creatures, and I am pretty sure that the teeth have been based upon the Queen Alien's set of gnashes. Number 5 Every time you visit the Safe House HQ, you can see the character Jay lurking somewhere about the place, and most of the time he'll be playing his guitar. The more time you spend with him, the more you might notice that he's actually portraying the singer, songwriter and awesome guitarist Jimi Hendrix, since he plays with his left hand. He was also born in Seattle, his father was in the Second World War, and Jimi Hendrix was extremely big during the 60s. All of these were important details of his life. Number 6 
Throughout the rooms of the headquarters, there are three more references towards video games in some way or another. One of them we'll visit at the end of the video, but the other two are tiny, but still worth a gander at. As if you head into Caroline's room, you can find a large picture of a woman on top of a bomb. If you look towards her hat, there you will see the Machine Games Swedish Video Game Developers logo plastered upon it. If you head upstairs and wander into the bedroom filled with toys occupied by Max, you will discover three Mario Power Stars, two on the bed and one hanging from the ceiling. Number 7 after finishing up Chapter 5, Chapter 6 London Nautica immediately kicks off with a car ride with Bobby Bram, kindly escorting BJ towards the Nautica building and home of the Moon Dome. As you pass the checkpoint and listen to what Bobby has to say, just feel free to look around, but to be honest, just stare straight at his keyring dangling from the car's ignition, as upon it is a weapon, and this is no ordinary weapon, as this is the rocket launcher from Quake 3. Number 8 as we wrap up Wolfenstein, there is just one awesome easter egg left to check out, and as you wander around the HQ, why not head up to the third floor past where the tools are being kept, and veer off to the left where a mattress lays upon the floor, and a picture decorates the wall, which is none other than one of the loading screens from the 1992 first person shooter video game Wolfenstein 3D. Step back a bit, and if you hold X while looking at the mattress for a few seconds, you can then start enjoying an entire level from the original game, including original pictures, doors, guards, walls and secret passages, and some contain more than one. And I will leave you to enjoy this excellent secret. Hey, I'm the Easter Egg Hunter and this is the Ice Water Bucket Challenge, supporting ALSA. Oh my god, that is absolutely freezing. Oh my god. Oh boy. Thanks to the 16-bit brothers of Dreamcastic channel and replay here, Kai, thank you very much and I love you all very much too. Are you gonna do it or what? Hurry up, Dad, for God's sake. I'd like to nominate Ricky from Retro Liberty, Vintage Video Game Geek and Gamester81. Really?